Here's a basic workflow that I talked about on the show where I create a series of block schedule entries for the following day. I've created the first one here. You can see uh, it's the add new event trigger. You can control the title, which calendar it's on. You can also control the date and time. I've got this one here set to start tomorrow at 6 a.m. and end at tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I usually wake up on the first thing in the morning and do some writing. Um, I can trigger that all day if I want to throw that switch, and I can also add alerts. I like to just give myself an alert when it's time to change to the next block entry. This is a very simple um, workflow. I'm going to add two or three more. And the idea behind this is if I get behind on planning for the next day, there are a series of items I do in the morning and afternoon that are usually the same. And this at least gives me a starting point and I can trigger it with a single workflow. So uh, I'm going to very quickly add a couple more. I'll just go in here, type add new. And you can see right there it is already add new event. I'll just click it, drag it over. And the next thing I usually do is exercise. And the location is home, so that's not going to change. Calendar is personal. There we go. So then I can go ahead and set the date. I'm going to make it relative because workflow supports that. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. And it takes an hour. It's not an all day event. I'm going to go ahead and give myself an alert at the time of the event. And I'm done with the second one. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more really quickly using the magic of screencasting. One thing you'll note with these is you can't duplicate existing blocks in workflow. I'm hoping that changes with Siri uh, shortcuts. And finally, I normally spend about 45 minutes every morning after I've done my initial writing and kind of taking care of myself, uh, auditing my email and checking in with social media. With these blocks done, then by 1030, I've taken care of a lot of my big rocks for the day and I get to dig in on client projects. So I've gone ahead and created the workflow. And you can see here is my day tomorrow. I don't have anything done for my morning blocks. So I'll go ahead and run the workflow now. I can just open it and hit the play button or I could double tap on the icon. And now let's run the block scheduling. If I go back to the calendar for tomorrow, you'll see there are my blocks for tomorrow morning. This is a very simple workflow. It's the same command repeated four times. But if you have block scheduling events, you can automate it with workflow. This is also useful if you want to attach the creation of calendar events to other workflows. If you don't want to create your own, you can download this workflow. You can find this in the show notes at relay.fm slash automators. This is episode one. You can also find it at automators.fm and also in the notes for this YouTube video. Thank you.